when your life begins to serve that good that is on the heart of God, then that's when you experience what is called prosperity. In prosperity, the, the things that the Gentiles are seeking for, they navigate in your direction. The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And the things the Gentiles seek will navigate. You don't seek it. And I can tell you, I've walked on that path. I was a senior officer in the oil industry without a car. Not because every salary I took every month, I could buy cars every month. I was not poor. But he would not have me buy a car for seven years. Learn how to operate without a vehicle. And in the process, you will learn of me. My colleagues called me a Jew. I was outside of the box. I couldn't fit into any, any team. Because when I come, I come with my own philosophy. And I'm so bold that you can't change me. I have a pact with Jesus and I'm not hiding it. A lot of persecution I had to suffer because of my position. But you know what? I knew the job. If you want to get the job done, you need to find me. But if you want to play politics, I'm bad at that. Because I have a master. I have a master. And all I do is to serve his way. Consecration is going to make you God's man. Your, your preference, your scale of preference, your prayer list, everything is going to change. Because life in consecration is different. He gives you what you pray about even though your needs are obvious. And for a long time, he may not even give you the opportunity to pray for your needs. I, I know you don't know that life. Oh, you never shift. You never shift into dimensions. If you are not a consecrated entity. Meanwhile, you can live in another ecosystem that is vast to his government. It's possible. But if you want to play according to the script, consecration, it's not a choice. I beseech you, brethren, by the mercies of God. Do you know in the oil industry when they send you, because we were regulators. I was a regulator. So we, I was a supervisor once at Beachland. All the depots at Beachland was under my control. If I wanted to make money, I would have bought homers, right? Every month, once every month for, for four years. I would have gone home with a gym text bag of dollars five times a month for four years. But I had no car. So you can't even negotiate with me because you don't even know which island I am. What my preference was because they knew I had the money to buy a car. But I was not mine anymore. And my master would say, you walk on foot. I, I was like that for seven years. And when the guys see that they cannot manipulate you with money, they will bring women around you. I'm talking about women that look like they just brought them out of a leather bag. <laughs> Brand new from the factory. When that one didn't work, then they say, I'm a member of a cult. I, um, I serve something something very dark I'm a wicked man <laughs> if the world has not yet given you a name then you have not been obvious I was in the heart of corruption but you will not do that close to my table I lost promotions, I lost upliftments trainings, I was supposed to go abroad to Houston what they will do is this they will, they will program me Two weeks before the training so that I cannot go to the US Embassy to get a visa and they did that three times your own stuff will not just work but for every other person it will work and I was not sad because I knew where I was I was not of this world there is one that brags about me his name is Jesus when it was obvious after seven years that what you seek is not your glory not your comfort not your then God put something on me. And the thing he put on me 
brings cars so i don't need to buy cars anymore they come do you understand what i'm talking about if i pray here in the name of jesus something will happen but i was in the wilderness for a very long time my time in the cave was too long ministers of the gospel looked at me and pitied me that this your own part is not it's a strange part the only person that felt i was a champion was my wife in her eyes i didn't need to fight to be a champion <laughs> let jesus give you a name don't make one for yourself the second requirement is faithfulness if we check your diary the things that he said to you 12 years ago 15 years ago are you still there or you've decided to change your job description I was an usher pastor at the door I was the one that welcomes people in I started operating the gift of prophecy there but my designation was at the door and there I was it was still at the door Jesus came and he touched me I was I was there at the door oh if if you if you say if you deploy me now to the ushering department you will see how effective I can be because I was there I, that's my place we prayed on seats for people that we come that when anybody sits here he will be changed we, we developed an intercessory ministry from ushering developed all kinds of stuff just ushering and people didn't know why they had encounters we held night vigils or touching seats prayers that our pastor never knew about and in fact the time he discovered we were praying for him he stopped us Say this this kind of prayer <laughs> stop stop this prayer Meanwhile, we had prayed for him for seven years. Wow. I was at the door. I never knew I was a preacher. I was going to be a preacher and I did not desire to be a preacher. I just love Jesus. Today, we add breakthrough to our love. Do this and I will love you. Do that and I will love you. It's like you use a Japanese calculator to, to, to interpolate. This is how they curve. Oh, you don't know that God is even better than you. He loves you more than you love yourself. Stay where he says you should stay. And don't get smart. Don't get intelligent. I can't tell you the things that happened to us. When we started evangelism, we went to a place where there was a shrine and the masquerade speaks, gives, speaks in tongues. And then the, 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 the guy that is, is at the, the medium will now interpret the tongues and give instructions to the village i've been to places where is this oracle that gives names to people and for six years the oracle had not spoken so every child that was six years and under had no name yes as part of our apostolic um, requirement labels we had to give names to all the children that were six years and under when the hand of god broke out and it was stronger than the power of the oracle they said become our oracle name our children So my ministry was in the woods, was not on the pulpit, on the stage. It took me two years to learn how to hold the mic close, close to my lips. Because if I'm preaching, I'll just... I'll forget. <laughs> two days. <laughs> Stay there. I never knew God would send me to the nations. I, was, I felt I was most suited for the rural areas. The, the place God trains you is not where he will manifest you necessarily. now I tell you I want for nothing just to serve his will so I beseech you brethren by the mercies of God to offer your bodies a living sacrifice holy and acceptable unto God which is your reasonable act of service and be not conformed to this world but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind in order for you to be a disciple in this context your mind will have to be renewed if not you will think god is cheating you and i want to tell you that there's more excitement in the holy ghost than in champions league so this morning we are reaching for a new dimension but i need to tell you the truth 
the meaning of this is that his government will become real over your life and he will be the one that is in charge of your space is the one that will use your intelligence to serve his will use your beauty to serve his will use your strength to serve his will they will any way he he pleases that's the life i want i pray that's the life you want also it is when you have this you are comfortable with this kind of life there's an anointing in places on you you still remember Saul Saul of Israel this was what Samuel told him he said the spirit of God oh should I read it he said the spirit of God will, will, will come upon you and you will be changed into another man That's, it, there's an, it's an anointing that will transport you into a new dimension Yes, you'll be transported so much that even your temperament will change. It will be another man. Another man. Another man. The me that my mother knows is the me that stammers. The me that stammers. And then, and I was an undercover preacher for a very long time because people were coming to tell my mom that I was not going to school. I was just preaching around. So if I come home, I'll just be quiet. I, they'll be sick. I know I can pray for them and they'll be healed. But I said, have you tried have you tried this drug? It, it works on this kind of stuff. And when my mother eventually came and saw me preaching, she knew this was not the son she gave it. I had been changed into another man. She never knew I could speak like that. It, it was the stammerer she knew. My ability, my outlook, my perception, my conviction. And the spirit of the Lord will come upon. That's the scripture God gave me. That his spirit is going to come on people today. So that they will be changed. When there are dimensions of the Holy Ghost that comes upon you. Your appetite will change. The things you long for will change. Your prayer list will change. Even the, the idea of a husband that you, you, you need will change. You'll be changed. You'll be changed. You'll be changed. You'll be changed into another man you'll be changed your temperament your emotions will shift everything about you will shift another man will come out of your vessel another man with a new with new skill sets new capacities new abilities new types of grace you will be changed into another man oh is Batuneski. Raiko petuske tabranda baboria sakapa tua lanteli eskuve la minata kompres kafatua berat eskuve la minaite kuvraskibo amakayato. There's an anointing that can come upon the man, and his preferences, his choices are altered permanently. His desires, he punctures his desires, deflates them, and he begins to long else. Blessed are they that hunger, that thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. He comes to fill you up. And I see someone when you were 13 years old, there is a presence of God that used to envelop you. And you, you could not explain that, that, that experience, but somewhere along the line you lost it. It left. As I speak now, it comes back. It comes back. It comes back as I speak. It comes back. It is restored as I speak. It is restored as I speak. You will be changed into another man. If you are baptized in the Holy Ghost, it's time to speak in tongues. As we invite him to come. There's an anointing that will make the shift. An anointing will make you a different creature. Oh my God, your preferences will be altered. Even your name will change. You will be changed. Masuke Bande Korea. That is the reason why God called you out in your family. He called you and He made you who you are today. There is a reason. Do not miss it. Do not miss it. Do not forget it. Do not forget His covenant with you. Do not forget it. Simon Kumbreski to Balatwai.
Shkeva sama kamte lizo somenala Plaskito kobera kuta bante limande Boska parata skufe la mina kentolia Rumbe la masika breskofe la makadia Oh we give you glory And we give you praise And we magnify your name There are 12 people that God is bringing into the ministry of intercession. 12 people he will want to hold, to raise your hands in the city of London so that a visitation can come upon the land. He comes to conscript and he will conscript 12 people, 12 individuals, 12 individuals. The grace of God will come upon you. The hand of God will descend on your life. It is a new day for you. He comes to conscript you. You are part of the people that will bring his presence into the city of London. His hand comes strong. His hands come strong. His hands, oh my God, oh my God, oh! You are strong. And any yoke, yokes will break this morning. But the Lord is conscripting. He's conscripting. There are 12 individuals. He's bringing in. He's bringing in. Giving them an unusual capacity to perceive what is going on in the territory. The hand of God is upon you. It is to this end that you were apprehended in the Lord Jesus Christ. And his right hand, his right hand is upon your life. There are three prophets, three prophets. The prophetic anointed will rest upon you. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Have people called you a Jew? You are different in the office. No one wants to associate with you because of your convictions, because of your values. The Lord comes to change you. He comes to transform you into another man. He comes to give you capacity for your conviction. Oh my God, the hand of God is upon you. The hand of God. Hand of God. The hand of God is upon you. The hand of God is upon you. I see a woman, you've been, you've been trusting God for a husband. And it's as if it's...